Yanko wants to know uh, about uh, something that isn't as a tutorial as such, but how do you deal with making camp paths in small areas such as Inferno apps? Uh, how do I make camp paths? So camp pathing is all about getting the timing right, right? Like Merv input. See, I haven't used these in forever. Camera. That's how you get out of and start roaming around like that. All right, so... Um, so making small making small camp paths in small areas, right? We'll use catwalk, I guess, for an example, right? So the the thing is with making camp paths, all right, so say you have this really tight corner, right? And here's your first one. Oh, sorry, it's Merv camp path add. So that should be. Uh, and we'll Merv camp path draw enabled one, I think it is, right? Yeah, okay. So... Um, the thing with making camp paths in a small area, it's about timing, and it's all also about leading the the turn, right? So if you want to make a tight turn in a tight area, and you want your turn to happen here, right? You actually want to put the anchor point a little before it, okay? Because with interpolation, it's going to be like a gradient, so it's it's not going to turn on a dime. It's actually going to like do sort of a slower turn. So what we'll do, where is my, Mer oh, I never did it. All right, Merv camp path add, right? So we'll do it a little bit before and then say we want to like, you know, take another turn here, right? Wow, that's, wow, that, that was probably the most amateur thing I've ever done. That's what happens when you don't play the demo, people, and you just keep making camp paths. Jeez. So, there you go. All right, that's just really weak. All right, so you see I took it a little too tight there, so we're going to select it, right? And then we're going to just edit the position real quick. There, so do you see how I want my turn to be here? But instead of putting it right there, I put it a little bit before the turn. So now it gives my cam path a little leeway to really cut that corner tight, right? And then at the same time, um, Merv cam path print this. I need a bungee or something for this for this mouse. Okay. And at the same time, right? So Merv cam path print is on. I'm gonna try to blow that up for you, right? Uh, I don't know if that's going to help you, but all right. So if you see, a lot of it has to do with your timing too, right? You you have to have sort of the same amount of ticks in between each anchor point in order for it to be a smooth and seamless transition and you don't have a lot of like weird sort of camera or camera movements. So I'll give you an example. So let's do this. Merv cam path select. So let's take number two and number three, right? And let's edit the start uh, and add a lot of time in between one and two, right? Edit start delta. Let's add like an entire second, right? So we added an entire second in between one and two. Do you see what the camera is doing now? The camera now has to slow down and make this really long sweeping turn in order to then shoot itself towards two and three because of how close together two and three are. Now, in order to fix that, right, if I want to keep the amount of distance between one and two, in order to fix that, it, this should work, right? You have to increase the length of three, right? So there you go. As I'm increasing the distance between three and two, the time, I should say, I'm now making that turn between one and two less severe, okay? Does that make sense? I hope it does. It's a simple matter of, um, like I said, leading your turn, putting it a little bit before the, the, the actual corner, and then also just making sure you get the times right, you know? We're, uh, so we'll, uh, right, and then, yeah. Yeah, see? So it's just, it's about just, you know, getting, getting those timings right between uh, anchor points. Actually, let's take a look at that. See, so sorry, I did my alias again. Merv cam path print, right? So then we'll go demo go to tick uh, 700, and then it's Merv cam path enabled one, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, 
So it's going to do something funky there, but yeah. Yeah, so simple as that. Very smooth. And don't be afraid to, uh, to you know, mess around. Edit your anchor points. You know, do what you got to do to get it to work.